Hi, I'm sorry, what happened? Can, can, I can't hear you, Allison. You finished the meeting. I did? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I clicked by accident class. Mm -hmm. Sorry. The fun is that people that uh, is not here won't be there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's, <laughs> it, it's 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 very strange talking to people that are not listening to me. <laughs> I was trying to put only people in video. I'm sorry, Claudia. So I was asking you, where have you been? What's what's up with you? I think you're in mute. It's me, right? Yes, you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what was the question? Sorry. What? How are you? What's new in your life? Ah, um. Well, something new that I can tell you is that I got a new scholarship. It's about cyber security. Um. Well, I decided to start again going to the gym. That is something new. Okay, wait. So you got a scholarship in security. What kind of security? Cyber security. Okay. And how? What? What is this scholarship? How did you get it? I just uh, fill up. Um, Filled out. Fill out. Fill out uh, something with all my information, and after that, I got an interview. And I need to, I needed to wait for maybe two weeks. And they told me that I got a scholarship. Oh, good. And um, who gave you that scholarship? The name is, yeah, it's an uh, international organization that is connecting with BAC. I think it's the Bank International, something like that. I remember all the name. Oh, okay. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. And you're going back to the um to the gym. Yeah, the gym. I just I don't know. Um stopped going uh -huh. to the gym, but I wanted to go again because well I really like to do exercise, especially CrossFit. It's in near your house? No, in a gym. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's near to my house. Oh, okay, good. All right. Let me just one minute. Okay. All right, so let's start. Let me let me pull out the page. I don't know why. Do you have problems opening the portal? Sometimes. Now it's open. I always have problems opening it. I don't know why. So we did... Hold on. Section four. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay, good. So yesterday we we're doing the future perfect continuous. Oh yeah, we did that. Let's listen to uh let's listen to the listening exercise. Okay, so then this is a listening exercise. Let me share the sound. Did Andrew A Can you hear? Yes. Okay, good. So instructions, listen to Andrew, Rachel, and Layla. Did Andrew, Rachel, or Layla 
do these things. Type the initial, I'm sorry, type the initial of the name in capital letter. No period is needed. Rachel R or Layla L do these things. Write the correct letter. One, Andrew. When I was in college, I spent a semester studying in London. And even though we speak the same language, English people and people from the U.S. are very different. I guess I felt that people from the U.S. have a, a bad reputation. Some people think we're loud and that we speak our minds too much. So I tried to listen a bit more and not be so assertive, if that makes sense. I wanted to make a good impression. I suppose I shouldn't have worried about it, but I did. I couldn't help it. I loved the lifestyle there. Going out for afternoon tea was fun. And I really loved the old buildings. I mean, they're really old. We don't have anything that old in the U.S., so that part was pretty amazing. Another thing was the TV. The British have a different sense of humor. Very dry. I really like it. Their comedy shows on TV are really funny. I'd have to say my experience was a positive one overall, except for the rainy weather, of course. I had trouble getting used to that. 2. Rachel I lived in Madrid for a whole year, and I have to be honest and say that at first, well, I wasn't very happy. You see, I was homesick. I missed my family, and I just wanted to go home. Part of the problem was my Spanish. I couldn't communicate very well. But I love to eat, and that's what really saved me. You see, once I discovered tapas, oh, <laughs> let me explain, these delicious appetizers you eat. So I made some Spanish friends, and we'd go out for tapas all the time. I got to eat a lot of delicious food, and of course, my Spanish improved dramatically as well. <coughs> but there was one thing that was difficult to adjust to, and that was that dinner was always served at a late hour. I wasn't used to eating at 11 o'clock at night. 3. Layla I came over to the U.S. from the Middle East. My family opened up a restaurant here. At first, I found it difficult. Everything seemed so different. Just using a payphone, for example, or going to a doctor was so different. I was pretty overwhelmed. And I guess because I wasn't feeling comfortable, I tended to make friends only with people from my country. I felt like I was living in a bubble, separated from the rest of the people all around me. But once I started feeling more confident about my English, I started meeting local people. I found them very friendly and open, and it turned out to be very easy to make friends. But there was one thing about people from the U.S. that bothered me at first. I found it hard to get used to the way they talked so much about themselves. It took me a long time to understand that you were supposed to talk about yourself too, because that is how people get to know one another. It's still hard for me to talk a lot about myself, but I'm getting better at it. Okay, who felt homesick? Rachel. Rachel. Who went out for afternoon tea? Andrew. Andrew? Andrew. Who made friends at Tapas Restaurant? Rachel. Rachel. Hey, can you imagine can you imagine eating dinner at eleven? No. That's very late. Who made it for? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Who went out for afternoon tea? Andrew. Andrew. Who made friends at Tapas Restaurant? Rachel. Rachel. Who started feeling confident about her English? Layla. Layla. Who ate dinner late uh, at night? Rachel. 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 Taught people. Uh, taught people talked about weekends 
about themselves too much. Layla. Layla. Enjoyed the old buildings. Andrew. 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 Who watched comedy TV shows? Andrew. Andrew. Who tried to talk about herself? Layla. 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 <laughs> All right, let's do this. By the end of um, this section, we'll be able to understand and use mixed conditionals. So let's see how this works. Do you know what the conditionals are? Um, no. If, for example, let's, let's do the video, let's listen to the video. Hello, in this class we'll go over mixed conditionals. Stay and listen to the explanation. Mixed conditionals. Use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. If we hadn't been so nice, we would still have our cash. If someone had broken into your room, you would probably still be trying to get home. Conditional sentences are made up of if clauses and result clauses. In mixed conditional sentences, past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations such as, if she hadn't saved so little money, she would be able to afford a new car now. If you had made reservations, you wouldn't be looking for a hotel now. Let's take a look at these examples. If Anna hadn't forgotten her passport, she would be on the plane right now. If Anna were more organized, she wouldn't be looking for her keys now. Read the sentences again. Are the if clauses past, present, or future? Very good. They are in past. Are the result clauses past? Present or future? Perfect. They are in the present. Take note that in a mixed conditional sentence, the time of the event or situation in the if clause can be different from the time of the result of the event or situation. Have you ever had problems on vacation? Tell your partner and don't forget to share with us. Try using mixed conditionals. The explanation. Okay, I'm sorry. Mixed so conditionals. Use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. Okay, so let's start with this. If I hadn't. If I hadn't. Okay, so. Tell me something that happened in the past that has effect now. For example, listen, one day 
I it was my birthday and I had a friend that I had not seen in many, 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 many years. And she called me that day and she says, hi, happy birthday. Let me take you to lunch. And I said, okay, yeah, okay, thank you. I didn't want to go. But that day, my friend invited me to lunch and she took her friend. And her friend is now my wife. So if I hadn't gone that day, what do you think would have happened? Okay, let's continue. No practice. You don't want to practice. There's no problem. Okay, let's do the knowledge check then. Allison, can you read number one, please? Give me one moment. Ah, yeah. I lost the screen. How can, ah, yeah. Okay, number one, if I, Mm. If I had been more adventurous when I was younger. So then the verb is being, right? Yes. Okay, if I had been. All right, Mr. Jovito, number two. Mm, hi, teacher. Hello. Number two. I see my platform for answer this, this question. I need to see on my platform. It's in the screen. So what is number two? Um, I don't know the answer. Okay, no problem. Claudia, okay. Marcela, what is number two? If the, I'm sorry, I wouldn't have any regrets about the things I missed. I wouldn't. The right? answer is wouldn't have. Okay. I wouldn't have. Okay. Jose Saez, what is number three? Number three, the airline lost my luggage. If I had brought a chance of clothes in my carry on back. Okay, Sulma, number four, please. Okay, I wouldn't be shopping for new clothes now. No. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be shopping for a new clothes now. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> Allison, what is number five? Um, mm, this flight is so long. If I I had not bought an economy class ticket. If I, I had not bought, right? Yes. Oops. Okay, number six, Rafael Antonio. What is number six? I'll, I I will be more comfort, comfortable now. Okay, number seven, Jose. Jovito, are you there? 
Just teacher. Right here. Uh, number seven. No, I don't know the answer, teacher. I, I need to see my platform for 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 give you the answer. But you know, okay, good. But Jose, I don't know if I should even continue explaining this to you, but uh, to the class, because I told you many, 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 many times. Nunca me han hecho una pregunta. Una. Yo sé que ahí cuando no entienden, yo sé que no entienden, pero no me preguntan. Yo les dije, hay una diferencia de estudiar el inglés porque yo los veo más activos en el chat de la, de la plataforma. Cuando yo veo eso me quedo, wow, si así fueran en clase, fuera, les preocupa más llenar esa plataforma. No sé si eso se sienten más contentos que aprendieron más así. Acabo de dar un ejemplo del video. Nadie se quedan callados, de verdad, es bien feo ver tantas caras y no sé si el problema es que no sé si me oyen no sé si están o le están poniendo atención no sé nada yo les puedo decir puedo acabar toda una una lección de una semana lo puedo hacer todo en un día con ustedes solo voy next 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 porque a muchos de acá les preocupa más la platform si nos quedamos solo en la platform podemos hacer platform todo el día Pero eso sí, les prometo, les juro que así nunca van a hablar. Pueden que entiendan más la gramática. No sé cuál es su objetivo, si solo ustedes quieren solo aprender gramática o quieren aprender a hablar. Yo quizás estoy entendiendo mal la cosa. ¿Ya? ¿Sí? Yo quizás estoy entendiendo mal, porque si ustedes solo quieren saber gramática, solo quedémonos y hagamos plataforma y no hablemos. Yo les digo, eh, ¿cuál es la, la respuesta correcta? Porque Cuando veo que mandan esos chats, veo que sí están activos y les preocupa más esa plataforma. ¿Cuál es esta? ¿Cuál es esta? So, y, y no sé, de, de, de nada sirve saber cuál es la respuesta correcta. Lo más importante es saber por qué es así la respuesta. Yes. Y no, no, o sea, no, esto es para la mayoría aquí en general. Como les digo, eh, Oh. Voy a intentarlo una vez más. Voy a regresar a este video. ¿Entendieron este video? Hello, in this class. Future perfect and future perfect. ¿Entendieron esa parte? What I think is that it's similar to the third conditional. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, it wasn't. Oh, wait, what's this part? Oh, wait, what part was it? Hello, in this class, we will show you when. I'm sorry, it was this part. If we... Okay, did you understand this part? I think so. Okay, Sulma, yeah. Jose, Rafael. Allison, Jose, did you understand this part? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Yes, it's true. Oh, okay, good. Good. Now, finish my my story. Do you remember my story? I'm going to pick somebody. So, look, we use hadn't and past participle to talk about a hypothetical event in the past that affects, that has effect in the present. So this is my story. Everybody, you tell me one story. Okay, listen to this. I will tell you a story and you finish it. Okay, so on my birthday, my friend called me. And she invited me for lunch. Do you understand? Are we good? Yeah. Okay, this was many years ago. 
I was thinking of going or not, you know, I, uh, my birthday is November 2. So imagine one day before I had a really, really big party. So I had a big headache. But I went. I was thinking, no, I don't want to go. I want to sleep. But okay, I went. And my friend invited her friend. Okay. Her friend is now my wife. So, Jose Isaias, tell me the hypothetical event here. What would have happened? Um, if you friend doesn't invite your, uh, her friend, you haven't been met your wife. Okay, that's... So if my friend hadn't invited her friend, I wouldn't have met my wife. Okay, good. Good. What is another hypothetical event? If you if you hadn't went gone. If you hadn't gone uh, at the party, you wouldn't know to to what? <laughs> Very good, Rafael. Thank you so much. I know you understand. So now let me correct. Yes. So if you hadn't gone to the lunch, repeat. If you hadn't gone to the lunch, you wouldn't have met your wife. You wouldn't met. No, you wouldn't have met. You wouldn't have met. Met your wife. Your, your wife. Excellent. Yeah, very good. So, like, this is a perfect explanation about a hypothetical event that has effect now in the present. Yes. Okay. Um, Allison. Yes, tell me. When I was younger, I was very bad with money. I was okay. I mean I mean I made money but the same day I spent all my money in and stupid things. Yes? Okay. So when I decided to get married, I had nothing. So uh, I remember I lived with my mother when I was younger, yes? And my mother charged me rent. Always. And I was very, very angry. Because, hey, this is my house. Why do I have to pay your rent? And my mother said, because you have to. So I paid her rent. The day I got married, my mother returned me all the money I had paid her. What do you think she told me when she gave me the money? If you hadn't paid the rent, uh huh. Um, you wouldn't do would you wouldn't have a, a wedding <laughs> yeah i wouldn't have savings yeah you wouldn't have savings okay good and this is a true story you know i was i was a little embarrassed the day i got married i mean before i was getting married because i was old and i said oh my god i have nothing so one day my mother called me and she says come here I want to talk to you and she returned all the money to me I said what is this this is all the money you paid me and you were very angry paying me that money 
But if I hadn't taken the money, you would have never saved money. Entonces, here, that was the most beautiful, beautiful thing. I It was like, wow, it was shocking. I really thank my mother for that. It was a good lesson. I will do that with my son. <laughs> All right. Now, I want you to tell me a story, Claudia, Marcela. I want you to say a story. And Sulma will finish what happened. Okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, let me think. Mm. Uh. A story where I, I'm going to invent something. Yeah, yeah, you can invent. You can invent. No problem. Okay. Let me think. I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, the, Don't right. think something complicated. Think something easy. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. One day, I went to the supermarket, uh -huh. and I bought some groceries. Groceries, and one of them is uh, meat. Okay. And I returned to my house, but that uh, I don't know what am I. Uh, I I cook with that meat. Uh, uh, and this, um, but after that, a friend of mine uh, came to my home and she takes some food that, well, we cook something with us, with my meat and his cook, she's her cook. And we have a, how to say banquete with that? A buffet. A buffet. And I have a buffet. Um, okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Finish it, Sulma. Okay. okay. Sería... Um... <laughs> No se me ocurre, no, no sé cómo decirlo. Hijo, okay, she's in mute. Uh, Jose Saías, can you help her? Okay, let me try. Um, Okay. If he have been by more meat, she will eat more food, for example. Is that correct, Claudia? Uh, I I think about another example. If I hadn't uh, bought that meat, I wouldn't uh, cooked a buffet, for instance, maybe. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's one. So if you hadn't bought all that food, you hadn't... Um, you wouldn't have made all that food. <laughs> yes. All right, good. Jose Isaias, can you give us a hypothetical situation, please? And choose somebody to finish the uh, the sentence for you. But somebody okay. with the camera, please. Okay. Maybe Suma? Um, 
Hold on, Zulma, hoy sí puede. Okay. Hello? Yeah, okay. Can you speak now, Zulma? Mm. Really, I have a flu and... Okay, no cough. problem. Okay, no problem, thank you. No problem. Okay, so ask Rafael or Jovito. So go go ahead, Jose Isaias. Tell me your story. Well, uh, let me see. Uh, the last weekend after my soccer game, I ate very late, and I ate meat, eggs, and rice, and I had a stomach twitch. Encourage. Okay. So, Jose, what is the situation here? Uh, well. Oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, Jose Torres. Oh, sorry. My situation. No, what happened to Isaiah's situation? Ah, okay. Please continue, Jose Jovito. Okay. Yeah. What about the time? El tema que estaba hablando era sobre la alguna situación de Isaías. Isaías creo que escribió algo acerca tuyo a Isaías de la semana pasada. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Entonces, bueno. Do you want Isaías to repeat the story? Me, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Rafael. Yeah, um, Isaías, if you... If... if you... If you hadn't went to the... Oh, no, no, no. If you... If you haven't ate, uh, ate so late, you wouldn't have a stomach ache. Very good, Rafael. Thank you. I understand perfectly. But it's if you hadn't eaten so late. Okay, if you hadn't ate, no, if you hadn't eaten. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rafael. Boris, hi, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Boris. Let me tell you a story, okay? Many years okay. ago, many years ago, I had a terrible accident. I fell from a roof. From a roof, the you know, techo. Oh, okay. And um, I don't know how, but I can walk. <laughs> but because the doctors told me that I was paralyzed. Well, anyway, you, you couldn't. Hmm? You couldn't walk. You couldn't walk in that moment. No. Okay. I lost my conscience. Everything. But I was taking medication. I was taking a pill. It was called Vioxx. Okay. And now I understand why people get addicted to medicines. Okay. Because that, that pill was extremely strong. From one little pill, I only had to take one-fourth, un cuarto, <laughs> La okay. 
I took the complete pill. I took two pills a day or three. You had to, to cut the pills in pieces. Yes, but not me. I took actually three pills a day or more. That, that medicine was very, very strong. And later I discovered that Vioxx was discontinued because it was too strong and it caused heart attacks. Huh. But I was very young. So my, my story is that one day I had a very good friend. He came to visit from Mexico. And I had recently, I had recently had the accident and my friend called me, Hey, David, let's go, let's go to dinner. I'm, wow. Rolando. Nice. I had an accident, but this was a very, very good friend. So I went to the restaurant, you know, to the reunion. Yeah. With the pill. <laughs> yeah. Empastillado. And stupid me, I drank two beers. Huh. I didn't, I really, I did not know the effect. So I woke up the next day in a bus stop by Metro Centro. Really, I, I can't remember anything like, my friends, they told me that I went to the bathroom and I never returned. Okay. So what happened is <laughs> maybe I was going to the bathroom and I got lost. Where am I? Oh, no. So I took a taxi. Okay, you leave, the re you leave the restaurant in that moment. I Yes, I suppose. Because uh, the people... The security of the restaurant, they told my friends, oh, yes, he took a taxi. So my okay. friends, my friends said, oh, OK, yes, if we... <laughs> but no, I, I, you know, so can you imagine, can you give me the situation? What happened? Because of the pill? Well, I think that uh, the pills, um, the the birds, uh, this mix uh, had a, an effect mm -hmm. uh, when you mix it, yeah. Um. Well, I think that uh, your organism, I don't know, organism, I think. Organism. Uh, yeah. Uh, had a, a strong effect of that uh, combination. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so if I hadn't taken the pill, okay, if you hadn't taken the pill, you never you 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 hadn't leave the the restaurant. You wouldn't have left the restaurant. Okay, okay, you wouldn't have left the restaurant. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Maybe it's true. That's what happened. But uh, maybe you 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 stayed. Uh, much time you spend much time with your friend yes but it was strange the next day because nothing happened to me i had all my money and um maybe the taxi driver maybe he saw me and he left me in a gas station or something maybe and maybe i i started walking i don't know i i <laughs> I went the next day to look for my friends and I said, hey, what happened to me? And they told me, no, was the fuiste sin avisar. And no, what happened? I went. And my friends told me, no, you said, hey, I'm going to the bathroom and you never returned. When we went to look for you, the security said that you you took in a, you took you left in a taxi. So really <laughs> class, never take medication and drink. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's very stupid and dangerous no but really I, I didn't know because I said I remember I told my friend look I can't drink I am in medication and you know los amigos, no, but it's just one or two yes, 
yeah. And, and this is true. I only drank two beers. And I got crossed. But very good, yeah. So if I hadn't taken the pill... Um, you wouldn't have to leave the restaurant. I wouldn't have left the restaurant. Yeah. And tomorrow we're going to practice this in future. Okay. So I could have died. <laughs> you see, in the past is is would, in the future is could. Okay, so then this is the second part. Look. Change the, the, the auxiliary. Yes. So look, when you say would, okay, well, tomorrow we'll practice the, the past. So let's stop here. Let me see one more um, hypothetical situation here for, 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 let me see. Why well, everybody participated today? Everybody on video. Mm -hmm. Now listen to this other story. Esto es similar al efecto mariposa. Do you know the butterfly effect? No. The butterfly effect is to... Okay, let me give you a situation, Isaías. Imagine there's a woman and a man in the campo. Yes? Yes. They were born in El Campo. Their father and mother were born in the Campo. <laughs> Grandfather and grand, uh, grandmother were, they are, the tradition is from El Campo. And they were raised, creados, in El Campo. Correct? So then, Correct. so then, Ana and Jose are from El Campo, and now they have a baby. Where do you think the baby is going to be raised? In the campo. In the campo, yes. But Anna decides and she says, no, I want my baby to study in the city and to go to the university and be a professional. So then this baby studies in the in the in the city. He is a professional, and now he is the president. Okay? So, okay. Anna, Anna causó el butterfly effect. Desvió lo que tenía que haber sido. You understand? Like... Because, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Lifestyle. Alteró, ajá, alteró algo el curso, you know, como tenía que haber sido. So that happens, okay. all, that happens every day. I mean, because the reason why I was telling you is like today, no, I think it was last week. My, my garage is automatic. It's electric. And I always have a problem. Sometimes I forget if I closed it. Ya me han pasado, lo he dejado abierto. But that day, I said, did I close the garage? Did I close the garage? And I was certain, I was positive that I left it open. So I decided to return to my house. And when I checked, yes, I did close the garage. Me quedé, oh man, para que vine. So I returned to work. And when I returned to work, there was an accident in my route. An accident with five or six cars. So maybe because this is a hypothetical situation, 
maybe if I hadn't returned to check my garage, what do you think would have happened? You will have had the accident? Yes, maybe I would have been part of the accident. Yes. So that's maybe because maybe not, maybe yes, but I, you know, everything like, wow, there was an accident. Uh -huh. Okay. So, okay. Thank you very much, class. We'll continue this tomorrow. Eso sí es bien, bien interesante. Muchas gracias, Rafael Antonio. Y sí, lo único que sí le recomiendo, Rafael Antonio, es que se aprenda uh, cómo son los verbos en pasivo. Porque okay. me decía okay. en la oración, pero... Acuérdense que los verbos pasivos son ado, edo, ido, odo, udo. Comer, comido, ir, ido. Ver, vido. Okay. No, no, no es vido. Listo. <laughs> eh, uh -huh. Okay, then, thank you very much, class. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Bye-bye. I hope you feel better, Suma. <laughs>